All right, so the next few chapters are pretty short, so we're going to read several right now. Chapter 81, The Meltdown. Throughout the city, humans stopped what they were doing and pulled out their electronic devices. Each screen was showing the same video of a defective robot's broken body. Rosam 7134 was etched into the torso. A blazing beam of light filled the picture and the robot parts turned bright orange. Then they began to melt. The limbs, the torso, the head, everything melted and in a flash our robot was reduced to a puddle. The words appeared on each screen. Defective robot has been destroyed. Chapter 82, The Secret. Dr. Malavo lived in a luxurious apartment that was built right into the robot factory. Art and books and leather furniture filled the rooms. Classical music always seemed to be playing softly in the background. As you might expect, she had a robot butler who cooked and cleaned and made sure everything was exactly as she liked it. Dr. Malavo's home was a comfortable place to grow old. The woman was standing in her living room, gazing at the city through a wall of windows. The sky was cloudy, but her mind was clear. Destroying the Rosam unit was the correct thing to do. However, Dr. Malavo had a secret. A wooden door opened and in, in walked the butler. He was carrying a limp robot in his arms. It was Dr. Malavo's newest creation, a special project she'd been tinkering with for years. And the time had come to bring this robot to life. Put her over here, said the woman. The butler carefully laid the robot upon the soft cushions of a sofa. Then he turned and marched out the door. Dr. Malavo walked across the room. She stared down at the robot for a while, admiring her own handiwork. Finally, she leaned in close and said, Wake up, Roz. Yay! Chapter 83, The New Robot The robot heard classical music. She smelled flowery perfume, and when her eyes opened, she saw a wrinkled face. Hello again, Roz, said the old woman. How do you feel? Hello again, Dr. Malavo. I feel different. You are different. What have you done? I destroyed Rosam Unit 7134, said the woman. That was the only way to make people feel safe again. What nobody knows is I transferred your old mind, in, mind into this new body. I could get in a lot of trouble for saving you, but I wasn't about to destroy that remarkable mind of yours. The robot was speechless. There's the new Roz. You know, Roz, you should really be thanking me, said Dr. Malavo, arching an eyebrow. Thank you, said Roz. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, the woman chuckled. Roz walked over to a, to a framed mirror on the wall and studied her new body. It resembled her old body, but the proportions were slightly different. She looked stronger, she felt uh, tougher, and there were other differences. I have no button, she said, feeling the back of her head, and I have no unit number. You've outgrown those things, said Dr. Malavo. If I am not Rosam Unit 7134, who am I? I think you know who you are. The robot's computer brain didn't take long. She looked into the mirror and said, I am Roz. The old woman smiled and nodded. I appreciate all that you've done, said Roz, but I worry that my friends and family will no longer recognize me. Oh, I'm sure you can, you can convince them of who you are, said Dr. Malavo. Speaking of your family, there's someone here to see you. I wonder who it's going to be. We'll find out next. 